Hey guys, Joe Garcia, and we're gonna be talking about the wall sit, which is a really popular exercise that is done in the gym. But I'm gonna give you a couple tips so that we can uh, start to work on that technique and start to really kind of perfect it. One of the things that goes wrong on a wall sit is because I'm pressing up against the wall, I'm gonna flatten my spine out. So I'm gonna create an unnatural adjustment of the hip and my hip might scoop under. So when I'm coming through, I wanna to try to keep a little tiny space right here so that my hip stays nice and neutral, my legs are parallel to the ground, and I can bring my shoulders back and down. I'm gonna use the wall as a contact point to get the back of my head there, the middle of my shoulder blades, and just my tailbone, okay? The other, one of the things that we can use is you can roll up a towel, place it right behind your lower back, and you don't wanna put any pressure on that lower, on that low, on that, uh, towel against your back, okay? So this is gonna be one tip that you can do. My favorite way of doing this is actually gonna be with the stability ball, okay? So with the stability ball, what is nice about this is the curvature of the, of the ball allows me to shape my spine to that, to, to the surface, okay? So when I come here, I'm gonna place my feet out in front, I'm gonna come down so that I'm not hitting it. Cody, Cody's gonna assist me real quick, okay? <laughs> We're gonna be parallel to the ground here, and I'm gonna shape my spine to the ball. This is gonna allow for me to be nice and tight. I'm gonna be able to drive my heels in the ground. My pelvis is gonna be in the right place. My shoulders are gonna be in the right place. And I'm gonna get the most out of this exercise by putting the joints in the proper place. Give that a try, and have fun doing your wall sits.